This here video is about copying to a Goodger CPO. I have a, uh, a purchase order here that has a bunch of items. I'm going to copy it to the Goodger CPO. All the items came in, but some of the items I did not receive. So these two right here, I'm going to say did not come. I'm going to delete the row and delete the row. I'm going to say I only got one of these and I got six of those. Uh, that one I got everything, and this one here I will say I got uh, three. All right, let's add. Okay, so that goods receipt PO is added. So now, say the rest of the stuff comes in. If I pull up this purchase order again, and I copy to goods receipt PO, it's copying in what is left to be received. So it already knew that I had received certain quantities. These two, remember I didn't receive any of them. Uh, this one here was originally two, and I had received one. This was ten, I received six, so there's four left. And this one here was two, what was it originally? It was five, so there's two left. So that's one way. The other way is, good to see PO, put in the vendor, V, lasercom. Okay, now I'm going to go copy from purchase order. And, all right, this here is for exchange rates, this portion, how it's going to pull. If you're pulling from the base document, which would be this document, using those rates, you know, document and row. This here, draw all data and freight from here, or customize, I'll hit customize, hit next. Now I can select the rows. Right now, all the rows are in there. These are, you know, they have cosmetic stuff on there, but if... I was only received one of these, I could just select OK. This is the only one that I've received. And it says the quantity that's that's left. And if I hit uh, Control, I can select all these items. And then I hit Finish. And it draws everything in. Again, if you want to delete lines, right mouse click and delete a row. Again, you can change quantities if you still didn't receive them. And then when you're done, you can add there's a uh, freight that's available. I don't know if this one has landed cost or not. Let's see. Oh, distribution method is by, yeah, row total equally, weight, volume, or quantity. Each one gets them individually, or you can go by the total in each row. Divide it that way. So that's one way to add freight. Another way is you could, you know, do a separate landed cost and pull in a uh, goods or CPO, do land it cost that way. But that's pulling from a purchase order or pushing data to a goods or CPO. You can do it either way, and that's it.